if you imagine having many, many clients who have different types of programs and priorities across time zones, at any given moment, there might be somebody who's at a critical point. They've just finished a workout and you should follow up and really look at what they did. And so we'll run models, for example, machine learning models to help a coach understand that on a Friday, Joe has typically done his workout by this point on this day. Understanding is not currently in a travel situation or in a disrupted schedule. And when we see that, we will flag for the coach amongst various other priorities. You should probably proactively reach out to this person and say, hey, can I give you something shorter to do at the end of the day or give them a push if they need that? And so we're doing a lot of lifting on the software front, but that is only half the battle. The other half of the battle is how do we help coaches be themselves within some guardrails? And there's a great concept we discovered in the hospitality world. Think about real world hospitality, the world's greatest restaurants or hotels, where there is an art to accommodating people, surprising and delighting and building a great experience. That world has this concept of not giving humans, not giving our coaches scripts, because that can be dehumanizing and unpersonal, but rather giving them riverbanks. And to say, in given situations, we don't want you to go to the left of here. We don't want you to go to the right of here. So within this framework is where future is, but read the room in between and you can kind of tack left or right and read the room. And so we have a huge learning and development operation where our new coaches go through an education for how we think about IQ and EQ that is very focused and tested and we can see their competency levels. We, over time, as coaches progress in their careers at future, continue that process of teaching best practices and new techniques. And then overlaid on that, we have a playbooking team run by this brilliant sports psychologist at Future who studies what works and what doesn't work for different archetypes of customers. And what's great is these are not two very separate worlds, our playbooks and knowledge. All of those best practices that we discover and encode flow directly back into a coach's tool set. 